For you guys, it's been seconds, but for me, it's been weeks. Just the shop's been so freaking busy, and I haven't been able to put this thing together. So I've got the oven panels here that we unloaded. They do assemble the doors for you, and then like all of the hardware and all that kind of stuff here. So this is all the insulation. It's a little upsetting that I have to put it together, and be honest, but uh, especially after the last one, we just forked off the truck and put it in place and hooked up everything we were going. So now I gotta sit here and spend a few days trying to put all this together. So we're pulling all these pieces into the shop. I'm gonna go in there now, it's really noisy, so you're not gonna be able to hear. We've got the floor laid out and then we'll look at the installation binder. So there's a floor laying on the floor. Uh, they do have them all marked so far, so hopefully that's good. But they do have pretty good instructions so far. They've got all the part numbers and how they lay out. Um, we're just going to take it step by step. We'll do a little bit of a time lapse. Pretty good ideas of how to do everything there. So do a time lapse of us trying to set this thing up. guys took a lot of work to get to this point but we've got the interior completely done i've got tyler in there just buttoning down all the, the screws making sure everything hole is screwed properly and tight and then all the bolts are fastened uh, it actually goes together fairly well uh, it's got these supports here to hold the insulation and there's a little strip on the other side that gives it a little more structure and grip um, that's not on my original oven from like five, six years ago, so they must have changed the design, which kind of threw me for a loop there. Um, and then one of the holes, when they had it cut out, it didn't cut the metal all the way out, so it's still in there. But And we had a couple issues like, I don't know if the sheet wasn't cut right or if we used the wrong brace, but we've gotten to this point. We're just going to keep going. We'll see if that hurts us on the end. The instruction book here is a little bit hard to understand because some of the stuff like D is already on the part and then some of these had like a A and an A on the part but it didn't have it on the book so I just kind of figured there's no other parts that look like that so that's what we want. We're chugging right along here. This is where we're going to end the first video. I'll do a walk around of what the internal parts of this Columbia Coatings oven looks like. And then the next video you'll see us do the insulation and sheet it and probably the flamethrower part and the electronics and all that. So I just don't want to make these too long where you guys don't even want to watch them. So we've got the internal structure done. We're going to tighten it down and then uh, the, the next video, which won't be too long from now, we'll have the rest of it. So let's do a walk around. As always, thank you guys for watching. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't yet. We've got some massive things coming. There's video after video coming up. Obviously, I'm slammed, so it's hard for me to get these out. We brought on a guy to edit our videos, so we'll see how that goes. Catch you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching.